Orchestra at Temple Square present Music and the Spoken Word. Conducting today's program is Mac Wilbur with organist Andrew Unsworth and the Spoken Word by Lloyd Newell.
More than 2,000 years ago, Jesus of Nazareth taught a higher, holier way, higher than what religious leaders of his day were teaching 
and certainly higher than our natural inclinations. Perhaps the most stunning of his invitations is this one. Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. It's easy to love our friends, and with just a bit of effort, we can love a stranger. But to love those who hate us, is that even possible when the world and our own instincts tell us to fight back, to retaliate, and to return mistreatment with hatred? Wouldn't loving our enemies make us weak and vulnerable? To the contrary, loving our enemies requires the deepest courage and inner strength. What's more, it gives us access to strength beyond our own. That doesn't mean we put ourselves in dangerous or abusive situations. Instead, we courageously put negative feelings behind us. Yes, it's true that in life we encounter people who make life difficult, even unbearable at times. But evil will not be lessened with more conflict and strife. It's a great fallacy that you can fight fire with fire. Firefighters know that water works much better. Nothing extinguishes an inflammatory situation quite like kindness, compassion, and love. That is the higher, holier way. And it's the happier way, too, even if it's the harder way. We may feel that it takes a miracle to love an enemy. Well, the master who commanded us to love our enemies happens to be a god of miracles. Those who have put the Lord's teachings to the test are witnesses of his miracles. Sometimes a change of heart in our enemy, but more often a change in our own hearts. Love creates far more happiness and peace than retaliation ever could offer. It's no wonder Jesus promised his kingdom to the poor in spirit, the blessings of the earth to the meek, and mercy to the merciful. By teaching us such heavenly principles, the Savior taught us how to be more like him. There is nothing higher to which we could possibly aspire. His way truly is the highest, holiest, happiest way.
This performance continues the 94th year of this historic broadcast. Please join us next time for Music and the Spoken Word. Until we meet again, may peace be with you this day and always. Till we meet again.